Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And uh, this is kind of a little story of a failed patch Tuesday. And a few observations, personal observations, and also some notes and uh, articles that I've read. And uh, it is very interesting because last week, as everybody knows, Patch Tuesday didn't happen. Uh, at the last minute, Microsoft said that there's a apparently a bug and the patch build system internally at Microsoft that would have resulted in major issues with users getting their updates. Now, that's the official um, information we get. But there's something weird about that because um, in the past, um, after checking out in the past, okay, Patch Tuesday started in 2003. And since 2003, it's been very regular that uh, on the second Tuesday of each month, we get patches. Of course, sometimes when there's really critical stuff, we can get an out-of-cycle patch. And that's where I'm going to find it interesting a little later uh, when I'm talking about this because um, it's, it's kind of weird what's happening right now. So since 2003, the uh, number of times that we didn't get a patch Tuesday was... Uh, three or four, I'm not sure, but it's either three or four times. But it wasn't because of a bug or because the patches weren't ready or anything. It was simply because there was nothing to patch these months and they just didn't issue anything. And um, so it happened three or four times, which means it doesn't happen very often if you consider that, you know, that's a, we're 2017, we're at 14, 14 year run right now. What's bizarre with this one is that we know that there are some critical flaws that can be exploited and are already exploited by bad guys. Which means, okay, I get it. You can't you know, send us our patch Tuesday because of some bug. But I find it, and that was one of the articles I've read about security experts kind of extremely surprised at Microsoft saying, Oh, no sweat. You know, we'll issue the updates next month. And that's where many security experts are like, wait a minute. We know there are critical flaws. We know that some are exploited by bad guys already. And you're telling us, oh, we'll do it next month instead of doing it in the next few days or at least a week later. So this is very, very interesting um, that that's happening like that. Now, um, I've, I've had some of you send me a report, and there's an article on Computer World that says that uh, there will be a patch Tuesday uh, uh, around February 21st or something like that, you know, uh, this month, February. But uh, don't, don't believe that because Microsoft itself did issue a statement saying that, oh, it's going to be on March uh, 14th, which is next patch Tuesday, patch Tuesday for March, which means we'll get a bigger probably a bigger amount of uh, security patches in that cumulative update that we'll all get. Also, there's that uh, security flaw that Google has decided to say about, talk about today because simply um, they said, well, look, it's been 90 days since we told Microsoft and they haven't done anything about it. Now, that one is not as critical because you have to get physical access to the computer. So you would need to have a bad guy in your home in order for that to happen. Or um, maybe, you know, if you intentionally would give access to somebody else uh, at a distance. But it is kind of weird. And I have to admit, I also thought it was very, very bizarre that Microsoft had not issued the updates only, you know, maybe a few days with a delay, a few days delay. Um, is it because it's a much bigger issue than we think and they're still trying to fix it and they're giving themselves a lot of time to do it? Uh, very, very intriguing Patch Tuesday problem here. So um, on the security front, I've got a few people that send me private messages saying, oh man, uh, now I'm scared of using my computer online. Now, it, it, it's not, you know, it's, it, don't be scared of using your Windows machine online. Yes, there are a few security flaws right now in Windows, but, you know, if you are careful with what you do if you do go to go to the same websites all the time that are known safe websites 
uh, you, you shouldn't have any issues. There shouldn't be any problems. You know, it's not as easy as that. It, you have to really go to a website that has, you know, malformed, um, malformed code that would exploit the, the, the problems we have. So, um, you know, if you, if you are careful, I don't think it's, you know, it's not a security um, catastrophe. It's just, you know, it's, um, it's, it's kind of weird that when you know that there are some really uh, bad stuff out there and that your code has, you know, serious flaws that you just push a month later instead of a few days. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. I uh, don't know what to think. And uh, I got to say many security experts are a little uh, baffled at the fact that Microsoft is like, oh, well, uh, you know, next month. And so uh, stay safe, you know, be careful, just go to your regular websites. Don't, don't you know, uh, stop going on the internet just because of that. But, uh, you know, just be careful what you do and what, where you go. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And I hope you enjoy our videos. Thank you so much for watching.